In this video, we're going to look at some example programs, uh, some example things that we can do with character data type, with the char data type. So in this first example here, I've just created a variable ch that is going to hold a single character. So it's of the char data type. And I've assigned g to that variable for right now. And then I have an if statement. We're going to check to see if that character is greater than a capital A or less than or equal to a capital Z. Okay, So it's going to use the numeric value for G and compare it to the numeric value for A and Z to see if it's greater than or equal to, uh, I believe, 65 and less than or equal to, I can't remember what Z is, uh, 91 maybe. It doesn't matter because the compiler is going to do it for us. Um, so if I run that, G is definitely larger than an uppercase A and smaller than an uppercase Z. So it prints out the word uppercase for us. If I change this to a lowercase G, it says not uppercase because the numeric value for G is actually, if you remember the upper, the lowercase letters are up in the nineties range. Uh, so it's much larger than a capital Z. Uh, in terms of numeric value. All right, so we can do things like this to test ranges of letters, but there are better ways to do it. Uh, if I don't want to do the manual test and have to know what all the numbers are, or even have to understand how the characters are laid out, um, there are some methods built into the character class that we can use. So. In this if statement, if I want to do this exact same thing using a method from the character class, I can name the character class because this is a static method, character dot, and there, look, there's all these methods built in. And we aren't going to be talking about all these by any means, but there is one right here called is uppercase. So character dot is uppercase, uh, and we can supply it with a character. So is uppercase. So I can do character dot is uppercase and it returns a true or false. It tests to see if whatever we put here, our variable name, in this case it's ch, if it's uppercase, this will test true. It's a Boolean method built in. It's static built into the character class so that we can call it anytime we want. Um, and it performs the same task as that one. And it says not uppercase because lowercase g is not uppercase. If I use uppercase d, it says it's uppercase. So we have a whole bunch of these methods built in. Um, it, since we have an is uppercase, you might guess we have an is lowercase that does the same thing. Now, I'm going to have to change the words. I'm going to put lower here. And I'm just going to change this to nope. So I don't have to, every time we do a different kind of test, I don't have to keep changing. I don't have to change this line now. Um, so nope, it's not lowercase. If I do a lowercase, uh, let's do J. It is a lowercase and that works. So is uppercase, is lowercase. Um, there's also is letter. We can do is letter. And I'm just going to change this to yep. Okay. We're testing to see if this character is a letter. Yep and nope. Uh, we get a yep out. If I use the character, let's do an equal sign. Can I do that? Nope. Actually, I can do it, and it worked. That is not a letter. Um, is A a letter? Nope, it's not. Um, I can also do if, since there is letter, there is also is digit. I can do is digit. Is A to digit? Yep, it sure is. Okay. Um, is um, K a digit? Nope. K is a letter. There's also is letter uh, or digit, I believe. Okay. K is a letter or a digit. 
seven as a letter or digit. What about uh, asterisk? Nope, that's not a letter or a digit. So is digit, is letter, is letter or digit, uh, is uppercase, is lowercase. Um, those are a lot of the tests we can use from the character class. Let's try something a little different here. Okay, I went off screen so you didn't have to watch me type. Um, so I'm just doing a system out and I'm calling that character class again. I'm calling another static method. This time it's two lowercase and two lowercase. I'm passing in the character that we have assigned. I have a G there. So I'm saying convert whatever character that's stored in this variable is to lowercase and then we're printing it out. So lower capital G becomes a lowercase g. Capital M becomes a lowercase m. What if I use a lower, what if I start with a lowercase d? It stays a lowercase d. What if I start with a symbol? Let me go back and do an asterisk. Okay. Lowercase asterisk. There is no difference between an uppercase and lowercase, so it works just fine. Um, so any uppercase character I put in here will get converted to lowercase. Um, you might suspect that we also have a two uppercase. Run it on a capital P, I get a capital P. Run it on a lowercase p, I still get an uppercase p. Um, so character dot two uppercase, character dot two lowercase, also two great methods of the character class that you might use to manipulate characters.